Today, believers are seeking an answer to a 5800 year timeline in place that is now reaching its end. For this reason, they are looking for a connection between science and the Bible. It is written in the Bible that Daniel had an astonishing vision of evenings and mornings, however Daniel was instructed to keep it secret, because it was for the end times. The creation of man is based on a new vision of evenings and mornings with the understanding that this is the face of God. However, this time, instead of secrecy, the message came with instruction to write it down. What you are about to see should amaze you, just as it astonished Daniel. God introduced evening, morning, and day in Genesis 1 as his image of the God of time in order to differentiate himself from other timeless gods in the world. Therefore, there was evening for the body of man who always leads to darkness. But there was morning for the soul of man who always leads to light and a new day. The new day. By the counting example in Genesis 1, there was instruction to count each evening, morning, and day for the likeness of God so that the count was 666 on the sixth day. Like this. God's instructions were to count each day for evening, morning, and day so that the count was 666 on the sixth day for the introductory face of God. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. So there was a likeness of 666 for the body, soul, and spirit of man in bondage to evening sin, but God created a seventh day of rest for man to escape to. On the seventh day, even though God rested, evening, morning, and day were still there. So the count for evening, morning, and day was 777 on the seventh day. God did not instruct the seventh day to be counted because man does not automatically receive this number. That is why the numbers 7, double 7, and triple 7 are repeated hundreds of times in the Bible. This book reveals why man needs this number and how he can receive it. The creation of man is written as a dialogue between an inspired believer who just discovered the profound meaning of the creation and a die-hard Bible skeptic. These characters use logic as common ground as they battle back and forth until they finally discover a startling prophecy for the end times. Eight chapters track the progress of the debate and reveal how science, math, and reason support the reality of this recent interpretation of Genesis 1. But now it is time to ask the question, what the introductory face of God means? When will the truth be known and where does it lead to?
You have just seen a sample of what this book has to offer. I'll leave you with this. The number of God interpret the Bible and fulfill his word in a way that brings faith and reason together as partners. That is the power of this book. Mark7publishing.com is where you can get it online. You won't be disappointed.